Hi, Omega Chaos again. We have Epstuff at Toy Omega Chaos Season 3. And this time I am dwelling with Infernoids, a really interesting new archetype uh, coming in Seeds of Eternity. So let's see how it goes. Uh, my version basically used the Light Swan engine uh, and things like Car Trooper, Resorting and Monster Gate to of course get your Infernoids uh, to the graveyard as fast as possible to then uh, summon them from the graveyard but of course you have to banish Infernoids to summon them and uh, you can't summon them any other way Um, Puchente Tsukiyomi first turn. Interesting. Hmm, not bad. First, I'm going to summon out Lila. Just to bait out that back row. Of course, when I'm warning. Well, that's not good for me. Because now I can't activate Master Gate. So I guess I will end my turn. I definitely like this archetype, it has many interesting plays and uh, nice boss monsters like Infernoid Baal and Nehemoth and uh, Adamalek. Oh, got Stellars. Well, this might be pretty bad for me because, uh, yeah, because I play this kind of screws me over at this point. <laughs> Yeah, I might lose this 12 because, yeah, uh, this deck does need, of course, a setup before you can really go off. Okay, that's unusual. Why? Well, I guess to activate Shetsukiyomi's effect. <sighs> okay, another Raiden. So I guess going to summon it. Well, of course. Hmm. Yeah, summoning out the uh, Lucifugus, banishing Automalek from the hand. Lucifugus effect. That's why I play this. Then activate the Monster Gate. <laughs> ah, Car Trooper, okay, that's not bad, but I didn't mill any other Infernoids. It's kind of sucks. Hopefully, mill something with, something with Car Trooper. And I think we did. At least a few of them. I guess I'm going to summon out Infernoid Ball, which is my favorite one because of its uh, really nice effect. Artifact movement, okay, it's artifact version of Constellas, I guess. Well, that kind of sucks, but I think I can do something. I'm going to activate the Infernoid Pulse effect to banish it from the graveyard. So then Mopan cannot summon it, which is very nice. And then if any pass effect activates, can banish a card on the field and it doesn't target, so it's like a spook of fate, so very nice. Another artifact, so yeah, very heavy on the artifacts. 
the artifact engine has fallen out of favor recently. Ah, lol, very salty, I guess. <laughs> lol. Well, I won, so that's very nice. I was kind of scared for a little bit, but I managed to come through this, so let's go to the next duel. And I'm back, so let's see how it goes this time. Hmm. Pretty decent hand, I guess. I'm currently preparing for a tournament. I'm going to uh, the capital of Estonia tomorrow for a small tournament. Uh, I'm going to play in my Tech Juno Synchro deck. And hopefully the deck works well. So I think uh, this might go up a little later than normal, so after I come back uh, tomorrow. Hmm, I can't uh, use his Ancients, I guess. Not bad. Lol. Came up once, so number 96 Dark Mist. And Venus. Hmm. And some back row. Can lose a focus, that's not bad. Activate Lila's effect, trying to destroy the back row. Oh, Mirror Force, someone even plays it still. Hmm. So should someone lose a focus or palatable? Interesting question. I guess palatable. It's a little more nicer, I guess. And Ponce, uh, Dark Mist back. I guess then I'm going to end my turn. I need to get those infernos to the graveyard. Can build only one inferno at this time. Yeah, unfortunately, this deck is kinda luck based. Like Light Swans. I don't play the uh, Fiat spell or the trap card, the continuous trap, because both are, are way too slow. Oh, won't attack into infinite bells well, well that's completely fine. Hmm. 
I have no idea what, why my plant did that. I think Inferno is definitely to have potential. It's just, it's just that, yeah, they are not very consistent yet. Because, of course, they are all Nomi Masters. Of course, uh, check out my RSTAP discussion of Infernoids. If you haven't seen it already. It was, of course, a real-life video. With, uh, with some proper editing. I edited the uh, uh, card art and the uh, card text to the video while I was talking about the card, so... So not a Lila. Oh, the National Tribute. Mm -hmm. No point. I could summon something, but no point. So yeah, I'm going to end my turn. I'm sure my plant can't really what came in. And I really have no idea what my plant is talking about. Okay, Master of Hyperion. That was kind of expected. I would need to get over that. Probably going to summon Lucy Focus first to then destroy Hyperion. That's probably the best idea. But probably first activate reasoning. Okay, four. Yeah, I do play a lot of level four monsters, of course. Okay. Reasoning is extremely powerful in this deck, of course, because uh, he can't be normal summoned. Reasoning just uh, keeps sending them, sending them to the graveyard. If you don't hit the uh, monster, that can be normal summoned. So that's very nice. Let's on Lucy Fugus. It's actually more of a bait. A real monster I want someone is. Automatic. And if that fails. Oh, compulsory. In that case. Just banish the shine ball, I guess. And then activate Lucifugus. And destroy Hyperion. Hmm. And then I'm ending my turn because of course I cannot attack if Lucifugus uses its effect. Now Barn just quit, so yeah, won again, so very nice. I guess we can do one more duel, so back soon again. And I'm back again, so let's see how it goes this time. Hmm, not sure about this hand. Hmm, dark for dealings. That's interesting. This card does not die. But what did my point discard? Imperial Iron Wall? What? In main deck? Seriously? Wow. I 
guess it's just going to summon out Lila. Destroy Imperial Iron Wall because it's really damaging for me. And set the Real Decree and ending my turn. The Apostle of Purgatory or in Infernal Void Bringers is an extremely powerful card in this deck because of course it's a like a more powerful version of Fobian Lands. Oh, it's a synchro based deck, I guess. Of course, point you is Blake Blake's Spreader as well. But I haven't really seen it played in Synchrons. Of course, Synchrons get support very soon. Wow, Milda Quiltbolt. Of course, once the new support is on Tepro, I will be testing out a new version of uh, Synchrons. Also, I'm actually working on a new series, since, of course, uh, I ended, ended the Prophecy of Tower of series. I have had some trouble in replacing uh, the spot, I haven't had a... Uh, yeah. There have already been two instances where I haven't posted the fifth video. So yeah. Get from more synchron. Yeah, that's fine. Opponent draws two cards. Lake spread as well, that's fine. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm actually working on a series where I'm going to play uh, all my synchro based decks. Like, you know, I'm also a, a big fan of synchros. The 5Ds era was where I mo was the most active in the Yu Gi Oh! scene, at least in real life. Because since the e since the end of Synchro era, uh, there haven't been uh, many tournaments in Estonia, especially in my in the city uh, where I live, at least, um, and there haven't been any official tournaments in Estonia since 2011. So I'm not sure what my point will go for this time. Okay, Hyper Labrarian. Point is just going to attack. I'm going to get some damage. Then I'm going to flip that Royal Decree, of course. And of course I have the, the quick base spell as well for backup. Summoning Card Trooper, trying to mill some more Infernoids, of course. I do want to make this deck in real life as well, but I'm not sure what the rarity they will be. The only high rarity card in the Oshichi is in Fenrir Nehemoth, but I'm sure um, the Shichi rarity bumps the cards a lot, so yeah, I'm not sure. But it probably will not be that expensive, I guess, because uh, they are not really uh, very hyped currently, at least. Trying to attack for the Palmung. Uh, 
and this attacks over the topple token. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm in a pretty nice position currently. Because then it finally the wires effect activates. Vanishing the Hyper Librarian. Yeah, I really like this card, it's so good. Then going to set to Infernal Weightbringers and ending my turn. And of course all the Infernoids uh, can banish uh, cards from the graveyard by tributing uh, a monster on the field. Oh, you want to do that? Well, I can't really let you do that, so... Yeah, that's why Infernoids are also very good against uh, very graveyard reliant decks. Nehemoth is the only one that doesn't banish uh, uh, cards from the graveyard by tributing a monster. Instead it negates spells and traps of course. So I won again. So very nice. Won all my free duels. So, so this is it for this episode of Drive uh, uh, Omar Chaos Season 3. I hope you enjoyed this episode. And for now, a good buy and Omar Chaos. Out.